Crabber Foundation has been working with farmers for the past decade to make their farming practices more environmentally friendly. And it is, it's really about studying what's taking place within a community in terms of the farming practices, trying to see all that is good about it, and uh, maybe one or two things that we may see that may not be in alignment with a song environmental principle, we work together with them to take them to a more song environmentally sensitive type of farming. We're hoping to make environmentally friendly farming practices easier to adopt and for the farmers to make a bigger profit when they go to the marketplace. In so doing, we hope to help farmers become more profitable and improve their livelihoods. UNDP JAP Small Grants Program is the funding agency that's providing the actual funding for this particular project that's been implemented by the Crop Foundation and the hope is that um, coming out of this project we can raise awareness among farming communities and among um, consumers in terms of what, how we can all play a part in achieving this goal of sustainable farming and you know, sustainable communities. One of the responsibilities of any independent nation is that it's got to feed itself. In terms of food production, Trinidad imports about 90% of the food that we consume. Now that doesn't give us a good sense of sufficiency and a good sense of independence. We are accustomed to the supermarket where a lot of the imports come in, but we are getting back to, this, to what we call the fresh produce market. The San Antonio Green Market is one of these. There is now this movement towards eating healthy, towards eating food with limited amount of pesticide residue and so on. And where does the, the pesticide residue come from? The use of pesticides. So the more and more we could refrain from the use of pesticides, it means that we will have a higher quality product. I like the idea of having a market that we can put the organic or the organically produced products in where people can come together and we're not competing with the commercial farms. Because I'll say to you, 95% of the people who come to Maracas Bay, especially on a Saturday, are families that travel up to Blanche Shares, they would love to buy organic. They'll pick up the fruits and they'll pick up the vegetables. So we have a ready market. We just need to know how to do it and how to access that market and have a place to sell. We know, you know, that our foreparents, our grandparents and great-grandparents and so, they were organic farmers because they were not dependent on the use of pesticides and mineral fertilizers and so on. And they more, you know, were in tune with natural systems of, of managing farms. So if we really tend to watch a deer farming system, that is exactly where we want to go. So it's a kind of going back into the future, really.